guys welcome back to another video and today i'm gonna be uh making a tutorial on how to make a pop-up uh gui or how i used to say gui but basically um a long time ago i made this garbage video on um a garbage tutorial and now i'm just gonna remake it so to start off um our pop-up GUI we're of course gonna need the GUI so I'm gonna start off by just um make it label and it will say yeah it's I'm I'm messily making I'm making it really messy but you guys should probably like spend time to make it look good. Yo no way pop up alright and now we um uh, I need a text button which is just gonna be the thing that you use to uh, close out of the pop-up so you can just make that X or something all right now that we have our GUI we can just quickly turn off enabled so it goes away and what we're gonna do is quickly go into replicate storage and make a remote and I'll explain why this is useful later. So I'll just rename this to a uh, pop up. And now I put in a part. This is basically just going to be the thing that uh, makes the GUI pop up when you step on it or anything. So uh, pop up activator thing. Okay. All right. Now that we got this, I'm going to just quickly anchor it. So it doesn't go flying everywhere. And uh, here I'll just make an, a non can collide. Anyway, so we put in a script, which is basically, uh, we'll make it, we'll name it anything, honestly. Uh, activate pop up. Anyway, so what we want to do is uh, basically when the part here is touched. We want it so it will do a certain line of code. So script dot parent dot touch connect function. We'll just do car character. So pretty much when um the script's parent, which is the part that gets touched or well, gets touched, um it basically just gets the character from it. And when this happens, we're gonna go over to replicate storage. Actually, let me just make a variable so a local event equals game get service replicate storage, and we'll just do it the child. And what's it called? Pop up. Now, this is basically just gonna give us our pop up. Things, so we don't have to go like write out everything so it's easier and um next what we're gonna do is we'll do event by client since well we might as well just make it so when you step on it it just it can't be stepped on again now that it does this um we'll do script out here destroy so now when people step on it it will be gone so they can't step on it next what we're gonna do is uh over in this text button we're actually just gonna add a local script to make it so uh all right so what's gonna happen is um when people click this button it's gonna disable our gui so they don't see it so we're gonna do script well, local GUI equals script dot parent dot parent. So far, we got into text label. Now we're gonna go into the screen GUI, and there we go. We got the GUI. Now, what we're gonna do is script dot parent dot uh, mouse button one click connect function, and then we don't really need any variables from that, so I'll just leave it be, and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do gui dot enabled it's false so it just turns off and that should be all for the disabled gui and now um here i'll just set a local script here uh 
enabled GUI. So basically this um basically this server script tells the client to make the screen GUI show up, which we're gonna do right now. And it does that by using events. So local event equals game get service. Uh replicate storage wait for child pop up event dot on client event connect function car character. And now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the screen GUI now show up so script up here dot well uh hold up let's actually just make a variable local GUI equals script up here now GUI dot enabled it's true so now that that's done I'm gonna now test it so let's play here Okay, so my bad. I accidentally made a really stupid mistake, which well, I made a really stupid mistake, which is uh, <laughs> I tried testing some things and uh, I forgot all about this. But from the character, you have to do game dot players, and this is actually uh a thing you should learn when you're learning scripting is that you're going to make mistakes it's nothing's gonna work first try so game dot players get player from character car so now or actually character dot parent since the well this name is hit actually because the thing that's hit is actually just like the first part of your character that touched it instead of like the actual character so now that that actually uh works we'll try it we'll test it and we'll see how it works okay there we go so i stepped on it and we got the pop-up yo no way pop-up we click that and it's gone so that's pretty it's a pretty simple thing and i'll if you want you can just stop here but i'm just gonna go over everything that goes in the scripts for people who want to learn like extra stuff so we'll start off with the disabled gui since it's the easiest and it's basically we get the variable gui which is just our screen gui we're using for the pop-up we'll even name it pop-up gui and uh now that we got the GUI as a variable when uh, someone clicks on the X it connects and it basically makes it so the GUI is no longer enabled so you can't see it like this so right now it's disabled now it's enabled you can see it next we have our activate pop-up which basically um we get the event real quick which is in replicated storage so game get service replicated storage so it gets to this and then it gets to the pop-up so now that we have that as a variable script up here dot touch to connect function hit and it's basically just upon someone touching this or any part hitting this um okay so i accidentally made a stupid mistake so we need to make sure that if hit the parent every child humanoid equals to true then and then just gonna add an end and there we go just so um if you accidentally if some other part that isn't actually like someone touches it then it will check if it has a humanoid, which only characters would have, other, unless it's like some random uh, NPC you have running around that touches it, which might be a problem. Anyway, so, um, I'm sorry for that mistake. That's also a stupid mistake. Anyways, continuing on with my explanations, uh, when the event is fired, 
uh basically it's telling the client that oh yeah um this player which we use this function get player from character and we also got used our uh hit uh dot parent which is the character uh since we use this we can get the actual player so uh it's basically the server telling the client okay so this player um hit the block pretty much and right here is just destroying it anyways over here we have our enable GUI which is just pretty simple we get our pop-up and we also got the GUI as variables then when someone touches the uh, uh the thing or uh, whenever someone touches our part um the client receives this event and it basically just makes the GUI true so um that's pretty much it it's not really that hard nor is it pretty easy but it's something so that's the video for today i'll see you guys all later and goodbye